Oh my god, aliens are real and we got proof, so make sure to watch the complete video to get all the evidence. Which of course was just a very cheap hook to keep you watching till the end of the video, because aliens of course are not real, come on, I mean... <sighs> or are they? You probably all have seen or heard of these supposedly crazy persons that claim to have seen UFOs or even have been abducted by aliens, right? Well, this is gone. Now the mainstream and high government officials are officially talking about and investigating UFOs. We are talking governors, senators, astronauts, microbiologists, ex-navy and air force, people that worked for the government in defense of intelligence or energy departments and many more. So why the change all of a sudden? Let's find out. I'll mainly use scenes from the documentary The Phenomenon as they have a good summary of events that leave clues to determine whether aliens exist or not. So let's first assume that aliens do not exist and this is all made up. For that I've prepared a list to kind of shake all of our beliefs a little. 1. Generally speaking, anyone who reported to have seen aliens in the past, what most of them have in common is that all of these people were told by government officials not to talk about it, because they would seem like crazy people. But other people are also talking crazy stuff all the time, and they are not being told by the government to stop? They are just being flagged as frauds and crazy people. So why in this special case, when people talk about having seen or experienced UFOs or aliens, all of a sudden the government feels the need to tell them not to talk about it? Smells fishy. Why would people talk about these things at all if they did not happen? Just to get negative attention, being mocked, bullied or abandoned by their friends and family for talking crazy stuff? What do they gain out of it? I mean, right now the public has no scientific proof. We just have very low resolution videos and photos, but that is no proof. You can fake that. So we have to approach this topic from a logical thinking point of view. And therefore we have to ask ourselves, what can these people actually gain out of it? In my opinion, nothing good so it makes it less likely for them to blatantly lie about something like that. There was an incident in Zimbabwe, Africa in 1994, where a bunch of children all saw the same thing. Small aliens and UFOs. And they were interviewed by Dr. John Mack, a psychiatrist from the Harvard University, who confirmed that at least from his professional opinion, they were all telling the truth. So. Either they were all tripping at the same time, or they saw it for real. Back when just crazy people were claiming they've seen some alien stuff, it was easy to believe they were just making it up. But now we have very high positioned military officials demanding investigations, which makes it so much harder to believe it's all just phony baloney. More and more eyewitnesses are speaking up like former Israeli space security chief Professor James Ashett, who claims that extraterrestrials exist and we actually already have secret bases where humans and aliens work together. Men in black, anyone? There were many incidents between 1980 and 1982, the time of the so-called Cold War between the United States and Russia, where military bases on both sides got visits from UFOs that disabled a couple of nuclear warheads on the American side within seconds, but started launch sequences on the Russian side. Up until today there are a bunch of witnesses but no scientific explanations for these incidents. To me it's pretty clear, this is just, we're shining a light on this, we're pointing it out. Uh, what are you people doing with nuclear weapons? 
In 2017, the US government admitted to have a modern program to investigate UFO sightings and even released once confidential video material taken from military aircraft. The military operation in 2004 with the USS Nimitz strike group right off the coast of California. Around 5,500 people took part and witnessed a UFO sighting. It is the so-called Tic Tac incident because of the shape of the UFO. They had the best measure equipment known to date and were jammed by those UFOs. After the incident was reported, high US Air Force officials came and took everything. Measure equipment, data, machines, everything. There was no further investigation and it was swept under the carpet. Again, smells fishy. Trump created the Space Force in 2019 and put an order into the most recent stimulus package to release all UFO material within the next 180 days? Many people did not even pick up on this, as most of the news were about pandemic-related relief bills included. But it also includes the Intelligence Authorization Act to submit a report on every data related to UAPs, which translates into unidentified aerial phenomena. In addition to that, the US Navy filed a patent for anti-gravity and zero-point source in 2016 and 2018. So, why all of a sudden did this topic become less and less crazy and more and more mainstream narrative? Maybe because if someone wanted to create a one world government, then it would come in handy if you have an external danger and if climate change and the pandemic is not enough, hey, why not create a fake alien invasion? I mean, most of us, looking at the world right now, we would probably be like, eh, whatever, this might happen as well. Right? Right now, we are able to fake almost anything in the media. Look at this movie, Avengers, for example. There have been more and more movies and TV shows of this kind over the past decades. But aliens are almost always depicted as evil and as an external threat. But who knows whether they are evil or not? Couldn't they not also be highly evolved and benevolent? And even further, who says they have to look different than us? What if they also looked human like we do? So if they really do exist, why haven't they revealed themselves to us up until now? I think the phrase from Men in Black still applies. A person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. 1500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was the center of the universe. 500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was flat, and 15 minutes ago, you knew that people were alone on this planet. Imagine what you'll know tomorrow. So maybe we're not yet ready, and this information would create a mass hysteria and anarchy. But all this talk becoming mainstream could mean that maybe we are getting there or something is being prepared. Remember, if you want to spill the truth, do it in small doses over time and not all at once. We water it down. Precisely. Aaron Doughty, for example, recently made an interesting point. If you were a peaceful alien species, would you want to come here on this planet? I mean, look at us right now. Look at our systems in place. We are kind of insane and we have weapons. We have so many nuclear weapons to destroy the whole planet a dozen times. Yeah, because that makes so much sense, right? Maybe this is why so many nuclear facilities are being visited and turned off. Would you, as a friendly insane thinking person, go into an insane asylum where all of the inmates have weapons and will most likely attack you? Probably not. If you wanted to help, you would probably seek out the ones that are most peaceful and mentally stable and very subtly give them hints and tips on how to move on in their evolution. And we do not even know if these things are extraterrestrial life forms. They could also be USOs, so-called unidentified submerged objects. After all, we haven't even researched most of our planet's ocean floor yet. They could also be time travelers, 
or from our own governments, but not officially being shared with the public. We just don't know yet. So I don't know about you, but I always thought that aliens weren't real, of course. I mean, this is stupid nonsense, right? This was when I was younger. Now that I'm older and have experienced more things and read more books and watched more podcasts and movies and whatever, now I'm almost certain of the opposite. It is very unlikely that we are the only species in this universe. I mean, look how big this universe is. And we think we are the only ones? Eh, this is highly unlikely. But hey, I'm not here to tell you what to think. I want to encourage you to start thinking for yourself. So don't listen to people on the internet. And also not the mainstream media. Think for yourself. Research for yourself, okay? Use this thing here, the brain. It's very important that humanity wakes up and uses the brain. So please try to research for yourself. Start thinking logically and don't buy into the mainstream media and become a sheep. So what do you think? Are aliens real and will we witness first contact soon? Maybe even this year? I mean, over the last year, more and more evidence, whether you believe it or not, has been coming out and it got less crazy conspiracy theory and more mainstream narrative. So something is definitely going on and I, I think something will be coming out very soon but I don't know how, in which way, and what exactly. But it's nevertheless a crazy time that we live in right now, so honestly, it would fit in right perfectly. But hopefully I was able to shake your firm beliefs a little that aliens are not real and this is certain, and maybe you can start looking up more information up on your own now and start thinking for yourself and not just believe everything anyone says, including me. In case you wanted to check out the documentary The Phenomenon, there is a link in the description and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye. Okay, you can beat me up now. Yeah, I'm done. God, I hate talking to these infidels. <sighs>Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Matthew and I try to question this universe in a funny way. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to check out my channel where I have a lot of similar videos. Some are funny, some are a little more serious, but overall it's the same thing. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. I wish you a wonderful time and see you soon.